brought to you through the regional support of First 5 Fresno County, First 5 Tulare County, and First 5 Madera County. Because it's all about the kids. According to the U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission, an estimated 200,000 children receive emergency care for injuries that occurred on playground equipment each year. Of course, playground accidents can be avoided. We have some guidelines to help keep your kids safe when they're doing what they do best, playing. Fast or slow? Carly, a Visalia mom, visits a neighborhood park with her two daughters a few times a week. When choosing a playground, she says safety is a big consideration. I like how certain playgrounds, and this one included, have fence around the playground so they can't run to the road. Isidro Bruno is a playground inspector for Children's Services Network. His job is to make sure daycare facilities are safe for children. Isidro shared pictures of a home provider's playground equipment that he found to be unsafe. The swing and a slide combination are too close to a fence. You can tell that there's some brown spots or white spots on the fence, and that's where the swing has actually hit, or the child has actually hit the back of the fence. So, how does a parent choose or even design a playground with minimal risk for kids? When they go onto a playground, whether it's public or whether it's a private playground, they can think of SAFE. The SAFE model stands for supervision, age-appropriate equipment, fall surfacing, and equipment maintenance. As always, the key to SAFE play is adult supervision. Before children are allowed to play on playground equipment, uh, providers and parents should look for safety hazards such as broken glass, litter, pieces of metal, or any other sharp objects. Children develop different skills at different ages. Equipment designed for children 5 to 12 is too big for children ages 2 to 5. The child may not be equipped or ready for the equipment that's there. They may not be, uh, it may not be age appropriate for them. Surfacing that provides a good cushion must be provided under all equipment. Falls from 8 feet onto dirt is the same as a child hitting a brick wall traveling 30 miles per hour. According to Children's Hospital Central California Trauma Unit, there were 415 fall-related admissions in 2007. Playground equipment-related falls were the second highest, which was 30 at 17 percent of all falls admitted. The fall surfacing is the area that is under and around the equipment. This is the area that the child will be able to fall on with minimum injury. Make sure that equipment is well maintained. If it's a swing, you're looking at the chains for rust, uh, you're looking at the bolts and making sure that they're not loose, that they're not firmly tightened. Also that there's not any bolts protruding any, and, or that there's the caps that cover the bolts to per help protect the child from any scrapes or uh, to be entangled uh, is, is secure. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission has created guidelines for both public playground and home playground equipment. No playground, and this is a myth, no playground is safe, no matter how new it is. It has the potential of being dangerous. To learn more about the SAFE model or the CPSC handbooks for homes or public playgrounds, just go to our website, kvpt.org, and click on 0 to 5 in 30 minutes. Brought to you through the regional support of First 5 Fresno County, First 5 Tulare County, and First 5 Madera County. Because it's all about the kids.